four. If you can hear me, please uh, just write a comment, please. Okay. Um, well, first of all, we are here for a very special occasion. This is the first time that we got the YouTube uh, award. I just got this box in the mail, which is pretty cool. And let me open it for you. Let me just try to maybe rotate the cell phone. One second. So hopefully you can see the box. And inside the box, I have this letter. And I will read it to you. So it says, uh, do you remember your first subscriber, your hundred or your 1,000 subscriber? Chances are you do. And we know that you definitely remember your 100,000 subscriber. Your fans may have found you while searching YouTube, learned about you through a friend, or maybe you show up as a recommended video. No matter how they come to your channel, your audience stay and their numbers increase because of you and the community you built. We are proud to honor you, your impressive milestones of reaching 100,000 subscribers with the Silver Creator Award. Congratulations. We know that you um, have many more stories to share with your community, and we know we, your fans can wait for you to amaze them even with more commitment and creativity. So keep creating, keep building. We can wait to see what you will do next. And we are here to support you along the way. And who knows, when you reach your million subscribers, we may just write you to ask you, do you remember your 100,000 subscribers? Yours sincerely, and it's by um, Neil Mohan, the YouTube CEO, which is uh, amazing because we started this channel uh, just to demonstrate our portable holographic teleportation technology, which I'm going to talk about that one. Uh, I never really that we will have so so many subscribers in that short frame. I believe we hit 100,000 subscribers in just uh, four weeks. Uh, another piece, I have this small card. Essentially, it says congratulations on your subscriber milestone. And this award was inspected and packaged by, with great care by Rick. So Rick, thank you so much for taking care of the award. Uh, let me see if I can show you the award. So it comes the award in this bag. Remove the bag. So this is our shiny, um, creator award. Uh, let me just make it closer. It says presented to Holo Connect uh, for passing 100,000 subscribers. And if I'm correct, right now we are on maybe 140,000 and growing. So thank you so much for that. Uh, let me tell you a little bit about the story of Holo Connect and this chat. Uh, well, and this. Uh, we call it HoloChat, holographic chat. In the beginning, it was called uh, Holocast, like holographic podcast. But for some reason, um, the YouTube algorithm um, suggested like Holocaust. And I was like, no, that's that's not the intention. And um, something also happened very similar with, with Amazon um, when they released a product called Cadabra, like Abra Cadabra, and it was Took like cadaver, so that's why we changed the holocast to holochat. Um, so as you can see during my presentations, you can see that I'm either I'm the hologram or my guest is a hologram, and this is a technology that we developed for um, for NASA to have the possibility of sending a NASA surgeon, a NASA physician, from ground to a space station. And then uh, on the space station, they can provide a medical evaluation of the astronaut. So in the presence of the astronaut, for the astronaut, 
the um, the hologram is there. The doctor is there in a three dimensional way instead of me just talking with a two dimensional screen. And that was a one way holoportation. We had a special equipment. Uh, which was a Microsoft Kinect camera, maybe the one that you use for um, for your Xbox. And we also had um, a special computer, a mission control, and we had a mixed reality computer, which is the HoloLens. And if you are not familiar with that term, mixed reality, yeah, mixed reality, well, let me put it this way. Uh, we have three realities, virtual reality, augmented reality, and mixed reality. Virtual reality, I'm inside of a computer, generated environment. Uh, saying that is like I have a computer screen covering my eyes and I'm inside of a computer generated uh, environment. But I cannot interact with my own environment. And actually there is an interesting theory about why some people get dizziness with virtual reality. Um, the, the reason is when you uh, program virtual reality, you need to be very, very good in calibrating what you see and the information that you send to your middle ear. Because if not, your brain is, your eyes are capturing certain information from a computer generated environment. Your middle ear is getting information from the real world. So your what happened is your brain say, hey, this is confusing, I'm hallucinating. And then your brain believes like, hmm, do you know what, I have been poisoned. And what's the reaction if you have been poisoned? Well, let's just throw it up. So that's why some people get dizziness with virtual reality. Then there's augmented reality. And augmented reality is, imagine like a digital sticker. If you ever play Pokemon Go, uh, I can see with my cell phone, with my tablet, I can see my environment. I can see everything, but at the same time, I can see computer animations, like a Pokemon or something which is like a digital sticker. I can interact through a Pokeball or any other object that I want, but that animation cannot interact with me. And then there's something called mixed reality and mixed reality is a little different. Mixed reality, I have glasses like these ones and I can see my environment, but also I can pull holograms and those holograms are going to be three-dimensional holograms like objects but those holograms can interact also with my environment. So if I have, uh, let's say like uh, a dice, like these dice, and imagine this is a holographic dice, it's a hologram, and I just throw it over my desk, it will bounce, it, it interacts with my environment. So that's the difference between mixed reality, augmented reality and virtual reality. Now, saying that, on the space station, the Ashons had these glasses so they could see the, the other, uh, the doctor, being from NASA Mission Control to Space Station. And that was a one-way holoportation. Then it was a success. Uh, it has been a very useful tool. We have been doing that since 2021. And then um, it was an interesting story. Uh, I believe it was Christmas of 2021. We were celebrating about our successes, Christmas season. And I received a call like, a hey, uh, NASA is going to send the first private commercial mission to space station with Axiom, which is a great company with a crew of private astronauts. I was like, okay, that's cool. And they told me, yeah, um, they want to do a two-way holoportation. And a two-way holoportation is essentially the astronaut on the space station will be able to beam down as a hologram to mission control and the people on mission control beam up to the space station. So in other words, for the astronaut, they can, he can see uh, the NASA surgeon on a station, like if it's right there. And then on the ground, the NASA surgeon on the ground can see the astronaut like it's there. So for them, it's like a two-way communication, like if they are there um, in their person, in real uh, life. Now, it worked pretty well. We made it very successful on April. Um, on April of 2022, NASA sent a press release, which became viral. I believe we captured that in at least 15 different languages. If you just Google NASA Holoport uh, or NASA Hologram uh, to Space Station, you will find the article. Uh, and then we 
we move forward with the technology. And what happened is with this technology, um, we, we try to make it better, less pixelated, increase the resolution. And at some point during one of the holoportations, we had a uh, NASA surgeon and Air Force General, Joe Schmidt, he was holoported to a space station and he was waiting to interact with the nation. His name is Kayla Barron. And I believe she was waiting for Joe. And then for some reason, but keep in mind that space station is the same size as a football field. So it's not so big. And if you are there for six months or a year, uh, you literally know every single corner, every single person. And the astronauts, the astronauts are very, very smart people. So what happened is they went to the, um, they prepared everything for the holoportation. She got distracted for a second, moved to the left, moved to the right, and Dr. Smith appeared as a hologram in front of her. And I, we have the, the video recording, which is hilarious. She say, hey, stay back. And then she laughed, she stopped, and she said, Houston, I never believed that a hologram can invade my personal space, but it happened. Uh, and that was very, very weird for me. So at this point, we realized how powerful this technology can be. Uh, and we decided to make it available for anyone because we can help people just by using this technology to bring in the best, the best, NASA sur the best uh, surgeon from the Houston Medical Center to any remote a community in the U.S., in Mexico, in Africa, or bring a subject matter expert, or during COVID, we experience isolation, just having your loved ones next to you as holograms. So we said, okay, uh, we we need to create a technology that allow everyone to, to do this. So we have been working in, in this technology in parallel. With NASA, we are creating a holodeck, a uh, space where you can, like a circle, you can see the holograms with naked eyes. You don't need the glasses. And also, potentially, you will be able to feel the other person with something called haptics. And haptics is um, a glove. And it, if I touch a hologram, if I touch a face, if I touch the lymph nodes of the uh, patient, I'm able to feel it remotely. But we came with the idea like, okay, the HoloLens or the Vision Pro is like $4,000 plus the Kinect, it's like another $400. So, so right now we're on $4,500, plus a very nice gaming computer, and at this unit too, we're talking about like $10,000, and say like, we are not going to solve any problem, we're not going to help any people with this. So we came with the idea of um, making this uh, available with the devices that you already have, the devices that you don't need to buy anything. So we created uh, something called HoloConnect, uh, which is an application that allows you to capture a hologram with your cell phone or your tablet. So you don't need any special device. You don't need to buy any special device. And the way that we capture, and let me tell you what's a hologram, it, we capture something called volumetric video. And volumetric video, maybe you have seen a 3D printed object like this, or maybe like this. Uh, so these are 3D printed objects. And 3D printed objects are the best analogy for me for um, for holographic teleportation. A 3D printed object, it has, I don't know if it's feasible, but it has thousands of layers, layer after layer after layer. Like, just making an analogy, are like pieces of paper, one over the other, over the other, over the other. And that creates a solid object. Holographic teleportation is pretty much the same. Instead of us capturing, <clears throat> instead of us just capturing flat video, uh, we capture maybe 10,000, 20,000 layers of video with a depth perception. We can see the thickness of the object. And then we stream that. So instead of just streaming flat video, we stream all the layers of the body. That's why you, you may see during the interviews that sometimes if I'm walking next to the hologram, you can see all the all the volume of the person. So right now, this technology is available, and you can download it from the uh, any uh, the app store. And it's going to be available by the end of this month on the Meta Store, or Facebook Store, Android Store, Microsoft Store, um, 
which is called HoloConnect. You can use your cell phone or, or tablet to capture the hologram. And then you need another device, which is the viewer. I need to visualize the hologram. And for that, we use, or we're working on using also any device that you have. You can use the fancy HoloLens, if you have it as the best experience, or the Vision Pro, which is going to be like $4,000. But if you don't have that, uh, you will be able to use a new Meta Quest 3 device, which is also a mixed reality device. It's like 400 bucks. It is not so bad. But also, if you don't have that, you can use your cell phone or tablet to visualize the hologram. So that's one of the advantages of, of our technology is available for anyone. It's a technology that we visualize to be the next um, evolution of telecommunications the next standard in holographic telecommunications and available for the people, for everyone. No, we don't require you to buy any special headset or special equipment. So saying that during the interviews that I perform as a holograms, what I do is I can ask my guests to have equipment. They can have an iPhone, an iPad, um, to capture the hologram and they can have any other device that I mentioned before to visualize. So either I holoport there as a hologram or they holoport with me as holograms. So what happened is they can see me, I can see them, which is pretty interesting, like we are in person and then I perform the interviews. Now, what is interesting and you will be able to see, I believe we are aiming for next month is right now you can see the interviews via YouTube, which is pretty cool, but you still see watching those in two dimensions. Next month, uh, where I mean that you will be able to watch those interviews as holograms in three dimensions. That's why we're recording the, those files. So you will have a library and you will be able to watch, for instance, Vinton Cerf, the father of the internet, or Mark Reagan, or Dr. Baron, any of my uh, uh, guests during my previous interviews as holograms and just uh, put them in your living in your living room, uh, your kitchen. You will be able while well, you enjoy your dinner, whatever. You will be able to watch them as holograms, as real persons in your own environment. So it's in your own space. So that's something pretty cool that we're working on. We're pushing for updates every two weeks. Uh, if you haven't downloaded the app, just download it. It's called Holo Connect. But my point is, uh, right now it's available is uh, free for for the moment for individuals, is not free for organizations, um, but just give it a shot. Uh, we are pushing for updates every two weeks until the app is completed with our requirements. Um, I believe it's, it's, it's a very, very powerful tool because you will be able to see and also record unique memories. Imagine your loved ones, or a baby or that is growing, you will be able to capture the baby as a hologram, then replay it again uh, at your home and walking as a hologram in your real living room. Or imagine godparents, uh, great parents, I mean. Um, great parents like grandma or grandpa, uh, maybe they are old, uh, you will be able to record unique memories and then play it again. And so your kids uh, or the grandkids will be able to watch it and interact with them. So, so this really offers a lot of opportunities. Um, we will continue uh, with uh, interviews, with this uh, holo chat, which has been very popular. And thank you so much for following because we reached 140 something thousand uh, subscribers and counting. Uh, we have great uh, guests uh, for our um, next interviews. But long story short, uh, I just want to explain to you how this technology works. It's something that is available for you. You can download it now from anywhere on the planet. You just need to go to HoloConnect if you have the App Store. Uh, it's going to be available for Android. We are aiming hopefully by the end of the month. It's going to be available for the Meta Store, also available by the end of the month. And it's actually available on the Microsoft Store. And then again, thank you so much for this. This is amazing and unexpected. Uh, it was uh, a very, very unique award because it's a share award. It's, we got it, but it's a share award because it happens because of you, of you watching us. So saying that, um, I will conclude this live. 
Uh, but thank you so much for watching it. And if you have questions, if you want to learn more about this, uh, let me know. Just shoot an email or comment, make comments on this video, and we will try to respond to the best of our capabilities. And thank you again for joining us because this is really important because you are helping us to shape the future of holographic teleportation. So this technology that you watch in movies like Star Wars, maybe, and uh, now you are helping to shape, the, shape this technology. And the way that you do it is just download the app, send us comments, suggestions, and we'll do it for you. One that it was very unique, and I get it. Um, one of our subscribers told me like, hey, you should add, um, you should add a, a selfie mode. And I was like, yeah, yeah, we can do that. Uh, and we added a selfie mode. I can have the holoportation, create a selfie mode, and I can have my best buddy next to me as a hologram and being there together. Um, now I have a question. Do you plan to add an API for Android iOS apps? Yes. Actually, we are going to develop a software developer kit. So that's a two. The answer it has two components. The first one is it will have a software developer kit. So this holoportation application, holographic teleportation application, you will be able to integrate also to your own applications. But also it's going to be available uh, for Android and iOS apps as APIs. Um, and exactly is that it's a, to integrate the holoportation to certain use cases like Gemini's API, yes. So the way that it will work is going to be um, a software developer kit. And then you will be able to integrate the same way that you integrate uh, a GPS map, for instance, or any other kit, uh, essentially just integrate to your software. And reason for that, we have, for instance, a customer who's interested to develop uh, a unique uh, application for training dogs. And actually, his concept is pretty interesting. I know him. He, he was my guest on episode two, Anthony Bruns. Um, he said, well, I want to create my own application to train because I need to train the human, not the dog. And it was pretty cool. Uh, what was interesting, he told me, um, I had a dog and she was like a mess in the beginning. Uh, she used to bark and she said, if I come to your ho home, I will um, I will train her in 50 minutes and she will be stay, sit and be quiet with no leash in 50 minutes and no violence. Uh, so very nice. I was like, yeah, I don't believe that. And he came and he did it. He has a unique uh, way to train the humans because we used to talk with dogs like if they are humans. And it's like, no, you need to, to talk with them different. So that's another um, use case, just answering the question from Stardust. Um, it's going to be a software developer kit. So this guy is going to create his own application and is going to integrate the holoportation as a component of his application. So yes, it's going to be available uh, and you will be able to integrate in certain use cases like Gemini's apps, uh, Gemini's apps, for instance. Okay. Um, if, again, if you have questions, please let me know. Uh, this recording will be available for anyone. Next week, we will continue with season two of the Holo, uh, Holo chat, uh, previously known as Holocast, uh, but it's going to be available. Uh, we have very good, uh, interesting guests. Hopefully, at some point, uh, we can have another live like this and I say, hey, instead of this one now, we have the, the, gold, um, the gold Award. But what I'm really looking for is for you to download the app. Uh, we have a lot of tutorials on AXA.tech, and I will write it on the chat. Um, there are a lot of tutorials. We are improving uh, the website. We're improving videos and everything. Uh, and reason for that is um, we launched this technology as soon as we could because it's helping people right now. We have cases in Canada. We have cases in Mexico. We have cases of people using everywhere in the world. So in our case, it was like, just wait until we have the perfect application or make it available now to help people now and improve the application on the way. So we are improving the application, but at the same time, we are improving our social media, we're improving our website, we're improving everything. Uh, we added some tutorials, but again, if it's confusing, just make a comment on this video. I will be happy to explain, have another live, 
uh, give an opportunity, download the app, use it, and give us your feedback. Every two weeks, we push for an update because what we want to is to give you, to give the people this holographic teleportation technology available for anyone. So anyone can use it. Uh, well, thank you so much. I took like almost 25 minutes of your Saturday and your, your weekend. And thank you so much for joining us and to celebrate with us this um, special occasion. Thank you so much. Uh, have, a, have a good day.